Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn about a natural language preprocessing method known as stop words. Before we get started, let's review the packages we'll use. These include string and NLTK. Stop words are frequently occurring insignificant words that appear in text. For example, if we are conducting sentiment analysis on social media comments, stop words such as this, is, and the do not assist in computing the sentiment of the comment. Here we can see we have the most frequently used words in the English language. Words such as the, of, and, and to do not convey much value in terms of NLP analysis. We'll first look at a very simple example of stop word removal. We can see here that we are using NLTK, and NLTK has a corpus of stop words that we can use to remove from our string. We need to download these stop words, and then we need to import these stop words here. Let's create a very simple test string, and I'm going to call the variable test str, and then I am going to create a simple string. I'm going to say the dog is hungry. Here we have two stop words, the and is, that we are looking to remove. First, let's create a variable called stop words, and then we are going to call stop words from NLTK. Then we are going to call dot words, and we want to get stop words for the English language. We can see that our stop words variable is a list of strings, and we have various stop words here that we will use to remove from our string. What we'll do in this simplified example is we have these words within our string, and we'll use list comprehension to get rid of them. I'm going to start by creating brackets, then I'm going to say word for word in, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the test string and split it. Now we can see that we have a list and then we have each of the words within our list as separate strings. What I need to do next is I need to say if, and this is conditional, the word not in stop words. And what we're saying with our if statement is if the word is not in stop words, then we'll keep it. And we're using the logical operator here not to do that. Let's run this. And we can see that we were able to get rid of the stop words the and is. Let's look at a more complicated example. Here I have a string of a poem from Edgar Allan Poe known as The Raven. We can see that we have capital letters and punctuation and a bunch of stop words, and we'll have to do some pre-processing in order to clean this up so we can do sentiment analysis on this. Let's run this and save this variable. And let's type out poem. We can see we also have line breaks that we also want to get rid of as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function to remove stop words as well as punctuation. What we'll do is we'll get string.punctuation to get rid of the punctuation, and let's take a look at that. And we can see that this is a string type, and we have various punctuation, including exclamation point, ampersand, parentheses that we want to remove from our string. I also have some additional strings that are not included in this punctuation. In order to add that, we can call string.punctuation and we could do plus equals to concatenate additional punctuation I want to remove. This includes special quotation marks as well as a dash here. Let's run this. And if we run this again, we can see that our quotation marks as well as our dash are now included, and we can use this to get rid of that within our string. Next, I am going to create our function. We're going to start by calling def to create our function and initiate it and I'm going to call this stop word removal. And for our stop word removal, we are going to have to input three parameters. The first is the text that we want to remove the stop words. Then we also need to put in the stop word corpus or the stop words that we want to remove. And we also need to specify the punctuation that we want to remove as well. Put our colon and then we go down. And what I'm going to start with is I'm going to create a variable called clean text within our function. And we're going to use list comprehension to get rid of the stop words like we did before. What I'm going to say is word dot lower to turn all the string words into lowercase because we can see that we have uppercase and lowercase. And when we work with computers, they read lowercase and uppercase 
characters is different so we need to standardize them to either totally lowercase or totally uppercase most people go with totally lowercase word dot lower for word in we're going to split the text and like before we're going to specify if word dot lower is not in our corpus just to see what we're doing here we can do the same thing and we can follow what's going on in the function. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in our poem. And we can see that we have a list of strings that removes all the stop words here. But I do not want a list. I actually want a string return. So what we can do is we can take this and we can create a empty string with a space and we can join it together and we have a string return. We'll do the same within our function. I also want to get rid of the line breaks. What I'm going to do is for the string, we can call on replace. And for the line breaks, it's going to be dash n. And I just want to turn that into a space. Now that we got rid of the stop words, what I want to do next is I want to get rid of the punctuation. And so we can follow along again. I'm just going to create a variable out here called clean. And what I want to do with the clean text is get rid of the punctuation. And we are going to call on the translate and make trans functions. What I'm passing into make trans is the third parameter are the characters we are going to delete. That is going to be the punctuation and then we are going to translate this into our text. And we can see that we were able to get rid of the punctuation. Let's test out our function. And we were able to code out our function to get rid of the stop words, to lower all the words to lowercase, and finally to get rid of the punctuation. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I included references and additional learning within the notebook. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on Twitter, LinkedIn, GitHub, and Odyssey. Thanks everyone for watching, and happy coding!